Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Fixbook. After watching this video, your car problems stand about as much a chance as this laptop does against my hot lid. Now, make sure you stay tuned so you can see what happened to the laptop at the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to seafoam your car. And basically, what seafoam does is it cleans the inside of your engine and those internal engine parts. It's going to help remove carbon buildup and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, here just a second, I'll show you what you're going to do with this stuff. Okay guys, and for today's project, all you'll need is some seafoam and you may need a Phillips head or a flathead screwdriver. You can also use an 8 millimeter socket with an extension. Basically, just something to remove a hose clamp that would be sitting on your intake tube. So, that's all you'll need for today. With all that said, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay guys, and the first step in this process here when we're gonna seafoam our car is we have to find the throttle plate area. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna locate your intake tube. It's gonna be this guy right here. And it's gonna look about the same on most all cars, so it'll be fine. If you can find your intake box where you change your air filter, um, in our case we have this cone filter, but you find that, you'll find tube cone off here, and you're gonna wanna follow it back to the engine until it hits metal. And basically we got a throttle plate behind here, and that's the area where we're gonna be doing our work. So locating this area is gonna be your first step. Okay guys, and we're just about to get started, but before we do, you want to go ahead and make sure you drive your car a little bit and get it nice and warmed up. That's part of the instructions we're following from the seafoam instructions here. And what our plan is, is we're going to access this throttle plate right here by running our little spray can attachment in right here because we've got so much stuff attached here we're not going to pull this out of the way. Now if you're working on a different car where it's going to be a whole lot easier to just pull this off and see the throttle plate, basically right here we've got a plate set when you apply the accelerator pedal that throttle plate is going to go and do that thing right there so it's, it's a little round plate so when you pull this off you're going to spray directly in there and again like I'm saying our approach is going to be we're going to remove this hose and we're going to enter through there so we don't have to mess with all this other stuff it'll be an easier access point for us so now we'll go ahead and get the star carded and we'll start this project and guys, now we're just removing that screw so we can get our hose off. And the other thing is, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do, we're going to want to basically spray the can for about two to three minutes. We're going to want to exhaust about half the can. We're going to want to deplete about half the can because you want to do this in half can increments. So if you want to use your full can, you just go ahead and uh, use about half the can first and then we'll drive it around and then you can use the other can. They don't advise that you use the whole can on your first go around. So we're going to figure out a way to get this arranged and I'll show you here in a second what it's going to look like when we're doing the actual spraying. Okay guys, now we have our little hose here, our little attachment for our seafoam positioned in the right position. Basically what we've got going on here is, here is we've got it we got stuck in here and our little attachment has hit this side and kind of bent so it's pointing towards our throttle plate. Now we're going to hook our seafoam up and we're going to go ahead and start the car. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rev the engine about 500 to 1000 RPMs higher than your normal idle. Okay guys, so now my good friend Jeff here is going to be operating the seafoam spray can. And I'm going to go ahead and get in the car and I'm going to operate the RPMs. I'm going to make sure I rev the RPMs about 500 to 1000 RPMs. And then, you should be able to see in the background, there's going to be quite a bit of smoke. It's going to be doing all that cleaning, so you're going to see lots of smoke. So don't do this in a garage or a closed area. You're going to need to be in an open area where the smoke can dissipate into the air. So I'll go ahead and start up and you'll see the result. Okay guys, and we just got done running it. The next thing you'll want to do is go ahead and just let it sit for about five minutes or so. I'd say five to ten minutes. And then you're going to want to drive your vehicle. Make sure to drive it good and hard. 
And if, if at all possible, if you did what we did, just make sure there's no sitting fluid. But if, if you have this off and you have the throttle plate exposed, then you should be able to see if there's any sitting fluid. The main thing you don't want to do is get fluid into one of your combustion chambers because fluid does not compress. And if you run it and you get some fluid in there and the fluid doesn't compress, you're going to bend a connecting rod or you're going to damage your engine. So just, I think that's why I say let it sit five to ten minutes because the stuff probably evaporates pretty quickly. So so that'll make sure you don't have any sitting fluid. So here in just a second, I'll show uh, my friend here driving off in the car and he's going to drive it pretty hard and we'll wash, rinse and repeat. We're going to do it a second time because we're going to use half a can each time like the instructions said. So we'll see that here in just a moment. Okay guys, it's set for about five to ten minutes so we're going to go ahead and drive our vehicle. Okay guys, so our car is back here and it's running a little bit better there. We got our, our engine nice and cleaned up, so that was pretty much everything you gotta do that concludes today's project. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. For watching guys and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all my new videos which publish mondays and fridays at 9 a.m pacific time 10 a.m mountain time 11 a.m central time 12 p.m eastern time and i will see you then